We're here with Joey, who's going to get an ozone injection in his shoulder. So, Joey, what's been going on with your shoulder? Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to say for the past five or six years, um, I'm a competitive bodybuilder. I was up to about 210 pounds uh, off season, um, very lean. Uh, been training since I was 15 years old. Um, I started noticing about five or six years ago that anything I did was with a pressing movement or even a, a, a pull up or a lat pull down, anything like that. I was getting pain in both shoulders. Over the years, progressively, it got to the point where um, I couldn't do anything. I have not worked out, I'm going to say, uh, seven, eight months now. Um, I feel like I'm deteriorating. Um, sleep deprivation, uh, depression, um, you name it, I've had, I've had swelling underneath the arms, shooting pain through the shoulders, both sides, all the way to the back. Um, it's, uh, it's basically got me stopping everything. Uh, even when I'm a personal trainer, um, even putting weights on for a client or loading a bar, showing somebody how to do an exercise, um, it hurts. Now, I mask the pain, I don't sit there and show the pain, but it's there, and I know it's there, and it's excruciating. Um, anytime that I go work out, I might have a good workout one day. Um, hours later, I'm on the floor. I'm um, crying in the shower. I can't even wash my hair. Um, so that's pretty much where I'm at right now. And what other services have you tried to alleviate the pain? Um, I'm Dr. Rodriguez uh, over here in, uh, I think, Wake Hospital, Nancy Hospital. Um, he... Uh, he thinks I have a rotator cuff tear on both shoulders, which I know I do. I know the symptoms. So I did the test on myself. Um, both rotators. I know I have a medial tear on the left side, um, and, but it radiates throughout the whole shoulder. Um, I'll just be sitting there and all of a sudden just shooting pain on both sides. Uh, yesterday I did absolutely nothing and just standing there I was literally radiating pain throughout both shoulders. Oh. So, but I have not sought any kind of treatment. You know, um, I, I went. I tried to see Doctor Grab when he had done my knee years earlier. I uh, ruptured the bursa sac uh, before the national championship um, here in town, um, and uh, they couldn't get me in. And then I tried to see the Valade brothers; they couldn't get me in. So then I kind of stopped, and, and it's season for me now, so I'm just kind of busy with work. But I, I took time out to come see you today because um, I've heard great things, and um, I know a lot of the people that you have on your wall. Um, so uh, I'm excited. Awesome. Thank you, Joey. Aki? Top one was worse. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And it's like right, right there. So there, spot just similar to the other side. Yeah. Maybe a little more medial, like towards your body. Yeah. But you didn't have those other areas here. Not huh? here, okay. more, and it radiates on top. Okay. Treat it a little differently on the other side. Good. And I'll, I'll let you sit. Uh, okay. Actually, you can sit there. Yeah. All right. Cool. Call that the pass out. As you can see, I'm in really bad shape. So wait, I'm sorry. You 50 pound dumbbell. You were timing. I was timing to see how long the pain would start setting in because normally it's about an hour when the swelling goes down. Because I did about 15 reps. Uh, with an, like an overhead press. I, I did an Arnold press this way, mm -hmm. and I didn't put out here because it'd be too much shear on the anterior. So I just kind of did it straight up. Um, looked at my watch four or five hours later, no pain. Um, next day, no pain. So I was definitely convinced that this is actually going to work for me. I've done all the supplementation as well as uh, I was asked to do. And uh, right now I'm just here to get my right shoulder. The power of the ozone coming That's at it, you. <laughs> Well, there have been documented cases where cartilage has regrown, so all, you never know how far you can get with it. That's the shocking thing.
you know, so even though you're bone on bone, I'm never uh, hopeless. Well, that's when I hit the heavier weights. When I hit over 225, I mean, it's, you can, um, you can hear it. Feels familiar now, huh? Oh, When you're ready, I'd like to do one more. There we go. That's good. Well, 